Hi everyone, last day, uh, last moment, uh, they are closing down at the uh, NXP uh, Embedded World. We, we, we thought of making a summary of what we've done here. They were, they were very nice three days. We, we saw a lot of things, we've done a lot of things. I have Radu next to me, we'll, uh, we'll walk through what we've done. Hi Radu. Hello. <laughs> so Radu being on my side, we, we looked at competition, we look at our partners, we look at our um, site. We presented with Matworks together, the BMS and model control. And uh, what did we do? Huh? We had uh, with Mauro. We had the uh... yeah, the first interview yeah, with Mauro from uh, Matworks it was very interesting. We we saw the two interesting demos. One was with the motor control solution yeah. that uses uh, a lot of um, our IP and uh, configuration capabilities. And the second demo, which was uh, also very very important, very popular these days, the BMS, which uh, leverages a lot of software from uh, from NXP and a lot of uh, tools. And um, everyone was very impressed uh, by by the UI, which is uh, also made on uh, one of our tools. Yeah. Freemaster. So Freemaster was really was really cool. <laughs> um, then we saw we actually made a couple of videos. We're gonna we're gonna let the links uh, under this video for all the things that we that we mentioned here. Actually, we had uh, we've seen Avnet, and we had their. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> and we had their uh, we had their uh, a very good video where uh, Peter was showing the versatility of Fido MX8. How 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 you can separate the power domains and control that to, to, to adjust it to the applications that we want. That, that was a very interesting demo. I, I, I really liked it and uh, Avnet is one of our, our NXP partners. So uh, we're going to have a, a video with that where, where we talk about it with, uh, with Peter. Then uh, anomaly detection. Anomaly detection, very interesting uh, subject. So it uses AI, it uses um, NXP IP, which is also very important. And it was a very, very interesting uh, use case where you can do everything on the edge. So the, our NXP uh, processors allows you to do a lot of things uh, combined with uh, smart uh, smart software. So you can see, you will see there how um, how important it is how you can uh, can um, leverage IP, but also software uh, on a very small device, comparing with uh, with others to do very, very important. Uh. So processing at the edge, using AI, training the net, neural network, and then use it. And, and all, all shown in a great demo. We, we're going to post that as well. We talk about matter. Matter is a big thing these days, right? Very popular everywhere. So, so matter is a way to organize the world of uh, smart home, uh, at least, and IoT in general, right? So all this uh, devices coming from various vendors will finally work together because this new application layer protocol is putting order in this uh, market which is full of devices that are not compatible so right now the industry is looking and going forward uh, towards uh, unification and having a, a common protocol to talk so we have a nice demo done on matter by by michael turn on the light maybe you do that yes hey google Turn on the lights. And I have the light here. It takes some time. <laughs> and, uh, and I can say, hey Siri, turn off the light. Yeah, so we, we, we showed that Siri and Google can work together if we use matter. <laughs> if we use matter, that's the point. Uh, we met from Romania, <laughs> from NXP Romania. We are from NXP Romania, right? So it was, it is always really nice to meet someone from NXP Romania. So we met uh, TB, TB and he showed us an electrification uh, demo yeah. and use case. Yeah. yeah, it was very interesting. So you had uh, two important uh, use cases in a, in a battery, uh, electric, uh, electric vehicles. 
where you have to, to monitor also the, the charging station. You have a lot of information, a lot of stuff, and uh, that uh, charging station has to communicate with the uh, electrical vehicles, which are, are, uh, has another uh, another NXP IP and uh, another NXP platform that um, does the, the battery management or does uh, the, the entire system uh, management. So it was very nice, uh, nice demo. So you can see uh, how we can use uh, multiple um, chips from, from NXP to cover uh, many use cases from, from this electrification wave that, uh, that is coming. Then we had um, an engineer and our team has helped uh, tasking, port and application starting all the way from model-based design from MATLAB and Simulink with our product, with our model-based uh, model design toolbox but using tasking compiler and tasking linker and in, and in general the build, the build tool solution from tasking. So we are actually showing a demo with K344 with, within the tasking, uh, within the tasking uh, booth and that was cool also. And we talked with Peter there and uh, uh, with Roger, sorry, and, and we talked more about um, the solution using the build tools from tasking and, and how that could be integrated with our, uh, with our board and our uh, simulating solution. And then we had Brian Carson, right? NXP has launched a 32G3. Very, very important platform for, uh, for uh, automotive products. Um, I say a lot of, uh, a lot of interest that I see all around the, the, this uh, G3 platform. And it um, was a nice, nice video that uh, we have created to, to show how, uh, again, we offer a solution uh, together with our partners, but also with, uh, with the software and tools that we, we develop internally. Yeah, so we talk. In, in cars, there is more and more network traffic within the car, between domain controllers, between zones, and outside the car, right? So uh, traffic needs to go in the cloud uh, in, in some scenarios or, or um, uh, be managed, right? On that, I would mention one the name we actually use, which I don't think we mentioned yet, yeah. is vehicle network processor. Vehicle. And it's really because of that, because what really also differentiates it is the amount of networking that it supports. And not only on the interfaces, yeah. we support 20 CAN, CAN FD interfaces, All right, yeah. but we also support three gigabit Ethernet, with now this part can do three 2.5 gigabit. The G2 could only do one 2.5, so there's four gigabit interfaces. There's a part that was co-developed with this part, the SJ1110, which gives us a 10-port switch. And that board actually brings out 12 Ethernet ports on it, oh, wow. and 18 of the 20 CAN ports. So that's, I just want to mention that we're talking about networking, it's very optimized. As we are from the tools team, Radu is actually the architect of the automotive tools, internal tools team. Uh, we, we also presented the enablement that is available. So if you are a customer and you pick up S32G, there is, uh, or G3 or G2, there is a whole ecosystem of enablement that, that we provide. You can configure the pins easily, you can configure the DDR easily, so whatever you need in terms of enablement to, to, to get started, we are providing. And we build these tools in our team, so it was pretty cool to talk about it and, and, and show them. So there is a video which, which describes that, um, we'll, we'll publish that. And then we, uh, we have Matt Daniel Rosner from University of Bucharest. It's our neighbor there in Bucharest. Our NXP headquarters is very, very close to, to the university. And we have worked a lot uh, for many years with, uh, with Daniel and, and, and his team with Innovation Labs and so on. NXP is one of the partner for Innovation Labs and Daniel is uh, running that. But this time they had their own startup. So they had their own uh, company that they put together and they were here presenting Oxid OS. It's an OS built on top of Rust as a, as a programming language and um, they had the whole ecosystem developed to be able to run application in a safe, uh, in a functional safety critical environment. So they, they showed us their demo. So they explained us at large and they gave us also a board to try at home and, and fun. Yeah, maybe anything else you would like to point in? Uh... Yeah, I, w I was surprised how many demos and how many products are here in 2023 with NXP processors. Yeah. They were um, um, almost everywhere. Where you look, uh, you you will see at least one uh, one product that uh, was built on top of uh, NXP. We, we so, felt a bit proud yeah, and yeah, cocky that we yeah, work at NXP. NXP. It was like, okay, look, NXP again, NXP again. We saw Layerscape, we worked in yeah. 10 years uh, 
we worked in digital networking yeah, before working in automotive, yeah. so we contributed to Layerscape platform, so it was cool to see Layerscape uh, uh, in a setup from, from one of our partners. We saw IDOT MX uh, 8, a lot, of, uh, a lot of use cases and a lot of partners showing IDOT MX 8 and variations, right? We saw uh, IDOT MX 93 also as a, with, with, a, with, a, with use cases. We saw the gold, the gold box that, that we have with the 32G everywhere, uh, yeah. everywhere so plenty of it. Uh, overall, it felt very, very nice to, to work at NXP, right? You go and you see, oh, oh, okay, I'm there, and the badge, the badge of honor, right? So that was really, really cool, right? Uh, yeah, I think it was a very good treat. We'll uh, put up all the videos uh, in the link for, for this one. This is just a teaser to tell you how, how things work around. Uh, and yeah, if you have the chance, take the chance and come to and come to Embedded World next edition or the edition in China or I saw that there is going to be an edition in Austin next year in Texas. It's really, really good place to, to find out about embedded solutions and, and all, these, uh, all these things. We saw everything. We saw from casing, because embedded system must look good, <laughs> it's very important, to, to very complex, sophisticated industrial solutions, robots that are moving and um, uh, and doing quite accurate movements, thermal cameras, all, all the solutions that an embedded engineer can can dream of and, and imagine. Very good, uh, very good place to be if you if you're interested in embedded and uh, where the world goes, right? Yes. All right. Nice okay. to have you here, Radu, with me all these days. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I hope we will really manage fun. to come again, right? Yes. All right. Bye, everyone. Take a look at these videos and stay safe. <laughs>